Today I'm going to do the eigen buckling with circular cylinder on external pressure using the solid shell element. Let's pick on preferences, structural, okay, pick on pre processor, pick on element type, add, edit, delete, add. I'm going to use the solid shed element there. 190. Apply there. Let me get rid of that. Let me get rid of this. And then we're going to put the material properties. Pick on material properties. Material models. Structural. Linear, elastic, isotropic, and it's going to put it in megapascals, so it's 2E5 Young's modulus megapascals. Pass on the ratio is 0 0.3. That's okay there. Then we come out of this, and now we're going to make the model so we can pick on modeling. Create volumes, cylinder, hollow cylinder, and the uh, origin of the cylinder is zero, zero. The inner, the outer radius of the cylinder is one nine five millimeters. And the inner radius of the cylinder is 185 millimeters. In other words, it's 10 millimeters thick. And the length of it is going to be 400 millimeters. So we lift this up here and draw a model. That is there. So now we've got to uh, mesh it. So pick on plot controls, pan, zoom, rotate, isometric view. And we pick on uh, meshing. There it is there. And we pick on mesh tool. And then we've got to pick on. Uh, this is set for a um, trapezium. It's no good to us. No trapezium. Um, full full face solid. We need a six face solid. So pick on on uh, hexagonal sweep. Sweep again. Sweep that there, apply, and there we've got our model. That's fine. We've now got to uh, put some loads on it. Let's first put it in a pan zoom rotate. Let me pick a big front. And I'm going to put some a load on it. Pressure. Pick on solution. Pick on solution. Define loads. Apply. Structural. Pressure. On loads. Pick on a box. Apply. Sorry about that. I did that wrong. Did that wrong. Pick on on nodes. Box. Box this in here. Press apply. And we're putting a pressure of plus one. That's the pressure we want. Plus one. Okay. That's fine. We've now got to. Uh, Put the displacements, displacement. Uh, before we do that, we press plot control, pan zoom, rotate, and we put right. And then we put uh, 
unloads box and you're going to put this X, Y and Z zero there pick that there apply zero, Y is zero, Z is zero ok apply and then we're going to box the left end in box the left end in and we're going to put all the degrees of freedom zero there So we get rid of UX, UI, UZ, we put that zero there, and that's fine. And we've got to watch the direction of our pressures. we on symbols, and on the face, we're putting surface pressures. Okay, we put the uh, pressures, we put it in a uh, moment. Click on face outlines, arrows, fine, we put OK, that's fine, and we've got our pressures there. We'll turn this round, plot control, span, zoom, rotate, put front view, let me find the front view there. Front's up there. Now you can see there's pressure on the inside and pressure on the outside, so I've got to delete the pressure on the inside, on the inside, I've got to delete that. So I look for delete, we got pressure, structural, pressure, on nodes, I pick on circle, I go here, I draw my circle in like that. I've got rid of that. That's fine. I've got rid of that pressure there. Okay. So I've only got pressure on the outside. I've now got to do the analysis. So I pick on uh, analysis type. New analysis. I'm doing a static analysis. And then I pick on the unabridged menu and I pick on analysis options. And I've got to put the pre stress on. The pre stress is there. I've got to put the pre stress on and it's on. And that's fine. I can now do solve current LS. That's done it. That's fine. And now I've got to do another analysis. So I pick on um, analysis type, new analysis, eigenbuckling, OK, close, and uh, I then pick on solution, and I pick uh, analysis options. I'm going to make three, create three eigenvalues, I only need one really, but I'll do three just for interest, I need the lowest one, which is three of them, and then put solve, current ls, done it, fine, so I'll uh, come out of this, I'll then uh, plot controls, I'll pan, zoom, rotate, and put this as an isometric, and uh, General Pro's Processor, Results Summary, there you are, it's 109.9 .9 megapascal, there's a buckling pressure, so we'll have a look at the uh, read results, um, plot results, deform shape, there you, are, you can see the earth deform there, that's the uh, analysis.
So that's it. It's the it's uh, the clutch pressure is there. Looks fine, and that's finished. Thank you, ladies. There's the eigen mode.